goes, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today is day 7 of my uh, 31 days of Halloween. We've made it a week into the challenge so far and I have to say, I'm loving it. So as you can see, I am a spooky skeleton girl and that is because this is the start of my mini Monster High series. So today I am being, I am being, I am Skeleta. Um, so this is the only doll I have of Skeleta for reference. Um, so this is like a different version, I don't remember what version of the doll she was but I took her dress off because it was ugly. Um, so her hair and makeup is different from the original Skeleta but I just think it's so cute. So I definitely wanted to try and do um, this kind of spooky Skeleta look. So I have had so much fun filming this, I'm so excited for you guys to see the tutorial. Um, I addressed this hideous wig in the, uh, the ending of this video, so if you're wondering why this wig is so awful, then stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I don't know what there is to say about this really, other than I'm doing three more Monster High looks for this 31 days of Halloween, I'm saving the best till last, or my favourite till last, so yeah, but I wanted to kick it off with a really cool look. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial and don't forget, before um, we go into this video, please 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 hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and comment. I'm trying to grow this channel as best I can and yeah, I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers by 31st of October 2017. So please 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 help me hit that goal, share this video with your friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, mums, everyone. Let's get this video shared, liked and yeah, on with the video. Okay, so I've begun the look by putting down my primer and my moisturiser and then I've used white face paint which I used the Snazaru white face paint to create my base. So to begin the look, I'm going to focus on the eyes first um, and I'm going to be taking my Morphe 35S palette and I'm going to start with this lighter blue and then see how much I want to build up. So I'm just going to be taking that on a fluffy brush and hopefully it should be rather pigmented as we're starting with a white base. I'm going to begin by mapping out the shape of the eyeshadow that I want. I'm aiming for pretty much like a blue ring around the eye. Okay, so I've mapped out the blue around my eyes that I want, but it's not quite pigmented enough. So I'm gonna go in lightly with a slightly darker blue shade, just to um, brighten up the eyes a little more. Now that we've got the blue base down, I'm gonna be adding a darker color onto the lid. I'm taking the Metal Matte palette and taking the shade below. Again, I'm gonna be taking that on a fluffy blush fluffy brush and blending that in. Move the colour out more towards a point but I'm just going to blend that in. a slight cut in the crease but I don't want to do anything too major so I'm just going to take a black shade so I'm taking Jet from the Metal Matte palette and I'm going to blend it above that darker blue that we've just done but subtly. Before I go any further with this look I'm going to fill in my eyebrows which I'll do off camera if you'd like to know how I do those they are in a million videos. <laughs> Okay, so I've just done my eyebrows, so now I'm going to line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm going to add um, a point on the inner corner. Okay, my tattoo liner is officially too dried up to use, so I'm switching to a collection felt tip liner. Line along my lower lash line. And I'm going 
to take a coal liner and line my waterline. Yeah. I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and draw in the series of dots that she has. So next up I'm taking a blue eyeliner, it doesn't matter what eyeliner you have, preferably a um, liquid liner would be easier but I don't have one so I'm just using coal and I'm going to draw on the little flowers that she has on her face. Pop a black dot in between all of those little flowers to make the centre. three dots that she has at the side of her face. Draw the line for the swirly doodads that she has on her face. Uh, pigmented enough, I'm going to go over that in my liquid liner. skeleton nose. I'm going to set the nose using eyeshadow. Let's take the closest lip colour I have that matches Skeletus and pop that on my lips. that you use a liquid lipstick so that it sets because you're going to be drawing on top of it otherwise you could use a normal lipstick but set it with translucent powder so now I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to add the lip detail okay I'm going to begin outlining my lips using a black eyeliner and then I'm going to map out the shape still using this eyeliner over that with a liquid line on, liquid eyeliner to add pigment. I'm just going to go ahead and add the lines in. I'm going to add some mascara to my top lashes. <laughs> You could add some fake lashes if desired, but I like to keep it how it is. So I'm going to add um, my the rest of my costume and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, I have a wig. Um, so first off, this wig I bought from Pound World, it was £2.50. And these bits here were white, so I bought an orange spray paint from Pound World to paint the uh, the white bits orange, and they went like a weird off yellow. So that didn't really work, but you know, never mind, we'll live. And I didn't have anything that would um, that is similar to what Skeleta wears, so I've just popped on this skeleton jumper, which I got from H&M last year. Um, I'd say it's definitely a wearable um, costume for a party, for whatever you're doing at Halloween. I think it's so cute. I love this style makeup. It's so adorable. So yeah, I've had so much fun filming this look. I think it's hella cute. It kind of makes my nose look big, but I don't mind. It's still cute. I'm like obsessed with the mouth. I may have to incorporate something like this into an everyday look because I am obsessed. Like it just looks so cool. So yeah, if you do recreate this look, then please, please, please tag me. I would love to see it. Um, or if you create anything like this, I think the Day of the Dead style is so beautiful and so gorgeous. Um, yeah, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys tomorrow for more spooky content. Bye.